it straight to the point. I'm going to talk to you about our technology that will enable you to play a leading role in the revolution that's about to sweep the mobile industry. So, the revolution is made of two parts, regulatory and technology. So what we're actually enabling is the barriers being significantly lowered to, market, to, to enter the market for mobile network. So you can create your own mobile network. So we look at the regulatory side. LTE has been around for a while, but it basically breaks the link between the core and the access. The rate, latest ruling from the FCC, shared spectrum in the 3.5 gigahertz band. That's really quite radical. It means that you can access spectrum on an unlicensed basis, but it behaves like a licensed spectrum. The technology that enables that, software allocation servers that dynami dynamically allocate spectrum on a real-time basis. Small cells. Small cells have been around and talked about for a while, but they're becoming commodity. They're self-organized. They install very, very easily. And finally, the network itself. The network's been broken up into a set of virtualized functions, so you don't have to build an end-to-end -end network. So you're enabled to develop a mobile play. What's missing from that whole story, though, it's a great news for you and great news for us, is backhaul. They still need a viable backhaul solution that will enable this market. And that's, we bring an extension to the core backhaul that Cable Labs members have, and we will enable the carrier class backhaul capability to be brought to the small cell. So how do we do that? Well, what I'm about to show you is something we were saving till Mobile World Congress. So this is a world first We've got the press release ready to go out for Mobile World Cong Congress, but we decided to bring that forward and talk to you about it today. So what are we doing to make it possible? Well, we're developing an integrated small cell and backhaul unit. But bear in mind, this is carrier class backhaul we're talking about. So the integrated unit will accelerate deployment because it's going to be a very small footprint. So it's a small footprint, and one of the big problems with deploying equipment like this in street environments is the uh, planning. Planning's very hard to overcome. The planning departments can be very fussy. So the smaller you make it, the much easier it is to get this deployed. So that's the first stage. We're also looking at multiple frequency bands. We look at the current 26 and 28 gigahertz bands, so it's a microwave backhaul technology different bands in the microwave, and we'll extend that into the unlicensed 60 gigahertz band, which is particularly interesting because the FCC, again, has ruled on a, a big chunk of spectrum to be allocated for this purpose. We're also looking at the hosting of small cells. So when I say an integrated unit, what we're saying is, well, we do the backhaul, and we want people to bring their small cell technology. So we'll host anything, effectively LTE, LTEU, even multi-fire, Wi-Fi, et cetera. We provide a simple interface, we provide a power and some heat sinking capability. So that's what we're doing to make this all possible. What about our underlying technology? What's unique about our backhaul technology? Well, effectively, as I said, it's microwave, but it's self-organizing. And what does that mean? Well, it means you can go out, deploy this, switch it on. It automatically figures out who to connect to, where to connect to, what the interference environment is like, and it will build a network for you. So in this particular case, there's also no frequency planning. So you give the system the channels that you have, the channels that you have are automatically utilized, and the system will optimize to, to meet the uh, environment situation. Of course, it's got to be carrier class, so we've got to have high capacity and low latency. They're table stakes, and we bring that. Also, we have to look at synchronization. Synchronization is often forgotten about when we deploy mobile networks. And even outside, when we deploy externally, synchronization can be difficult. A lot of the small cells that we see require very good synchronization. TDDLTE, for instance, requires good synchronization. And actually, when you come to deploy in urban situations, you can, you can suffer from canyon effects. So you have very narrow streets and very tall buildings, and you don't see a lot of sky. So you don't see many GPS satellites to accurately produce a synchronization signal. So we've developed a proprietary synchronization protocol that enables our system to see one or two uh, sky sites, and we can distribute timing across the whole network. And with that timing, we can then convert that to 1588 or synchronous ethernet and provide that to the small cells. So the small cells no longer have to have GPS timing. 
The system itself is very simple to use from a network perspective. It just looks like a distributed Ethernet. So effectively, you have a number of ingress points where you bring capacity into the mesh, and then you have a number of egress points where you take capacity out to the small cells. So it's very, very simple, but it's high quality of service. So really what we're saying is the system is very, very simple to install. No frequency planning, so you can have people that have no real radio skill sets deploy these. People like electricians will install these on lampposts, etc. They switch them on 15 minutes later, and it's all done. That's the key, key proposition that we have here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to move over to show a demonstration of a system that's coming up from scratch, and hopefully I'll articulate the... The, the different points of this, and, and it will become a little bit clearer how our system works. So if you look at the, uh, the slide showing the map, that's our EMS. So our EMS is quite a powerful EMS. It's not just a standard reporting EMS. There's a planning phase to that. So we take the concept of virtual nodes, and we can mix and match them with real networks. So we can deploy a network, and we can add nodes, add small cells, add backhaul, and we can see what the impact that will be. So what we see here is about 50 or so small cell nodes backhauled by our technology. Now, some of those points will be points of presence where we bring the cable or fiber into the network, and some of them will actually be remote nodes. So what the system does, it builds up what we call an interference map, which is actually a set of all possible connections that a node can see, and this is what we see here. So this is a live simulation from the EMS. So it's taken building data, 3D building data, and it's done some propagation measurements, and it says, well, these nodes can see all these other paths. Now, some of those paths will be good paths that we can use, and some of those paths will be interfering paths. And we build our schedule on that interference understanding. So we build a spatial TDMA schedule that enables us to very efficiently use spectrum. Okay? One of the other attributes of that type of system is that some of those nodes will be line, line of sight, and some of those links will be non-line of sight. So in many of our deployments, we have a mixture of line of sight and non-line of sight deployments. And that's quite unique at 28 gigahertz. So we have the massive connections, and what we have to do then is we have to create what we call a schedule. A schedule is how we deliver capacity from the point of presence to the end user node. And that schedule is based upon minimizing interference, maximizing capacity, and minimizing latency. So what we see here is effectively the final schedule for that node. So if anybody wants to see more of this, we're on table seven, and we've got the EMS, and we can run through further demonstrations. But I think that's all for now. Thank you, Jonathan. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's all for the presentation. I've got a little bit more to say. <laughs> so we've, we've had a background of deploying mainly with mobile network operators in some quite challenging environments. So we've deployed in South Africa. We deployed in Beijing, in a number of places in China, Chinese provinces. And some of these are very hostile from a radio perspective. Very bad GPS, lots of multipath. But our system always nails it. It always works, and it always delivers what we say it will deliver. So finally, what are we doing? Well, we believe, we're really excited to be here. With the, we believe in this revolution. There's a completely new market emerging with the, uh, um, the three and a half gig spectrum. And I think that will also spread to other bands. And we think we have a key part of that enables you to take part in that revolution. So MetNet, enabling the next revolution. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.